Hello everybody and welcome to Honey Bunny Games. My name is Twister and today we're gonna be playing two hours one life. What 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 is this thing? This is this is not one hour one life, even though it looks exactly like one hour one life. This is a mod for two hours one life. Hello, what something's funny. I don't know what you think is funny, but haha <laughs> to you as well. So this is a free mod for one hour one life. You play this mod on a custom server, which means these are not the official servers, which means you can actually play this for free, even if you don't own the game. You can just go download this and play it. It's completely free, 100% free. So if you want to play one hour, one life, but you don't have it yet, this is the perfect opportunity. I'm going to put the links, I'm going to put the relevant links in the description so you can check the forum post and also join the Discord and read all the rules and instructions and guides and whatnot. So what is different in two hours, one life? Well, the biggest difference is... Uh, well, obviously that you have not one hour to live, you have two hours to live. So everyone lives up to the age of 120. You can have babies until the age of 90. Uh, so just want to just mention this. It's two hours is a long, long time. This video will probably not be two hours long because that would be a bit too extreme for a video. So I'll probably just uh, just go die in peace at one point because it would just be too crazy. Also, there's other things. So for example... There's a camel here. Yeah, there are actually other additions in the game. It's a dromedary camel. That means it has two humps. It's a fancy camel. What are the camels used for? Well, you can feed the camel. You can also use this crate. I think I'm too young to actually pick it up. You can use this crate, put it on the camel, and we have a uh, portable uh, basket, basically. Just like a horse, but it's a bit bigger, I think, so it's a bit cooler as well. Okay, do we want to actually eat some food? So I'm going to be wasting some food while I'm doing this. But uh, I'll keep watering the things I have to water, don't worry. What are these? These are... These are, these are cheese wheels, basically. So there is cheese in the game. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things in, in this game. And it's mostly community-driven, so if someone has a cool idea, they draw the sprites, and they, like, have the idea how the gameplay should work. Hello, lady. Oh, that's my mom, right. Yeah, yeah hey, hey, mom. You're gonna give me the, the, the cap. Are you say Is that mine now? Oh god, I think she's leaving. All right, I'll take this. I don't, I don't mind. Uh, let's go eat some more berries while we are at it. So we do want to actually get more clothing because we want to raise our temperature meter quite a bit. What are some important differences between this and the main game? Well, first of all, as I said, you live two hours. That's the biggest difference. Then there are some new features. I also mentioned that as well. Then there is no item decay right now. So whenever you craft something, it's not going to decay gonna stay here forever that might change over time because the game is getting updated every now and then but right now there is no decay in the game uh, other than that there is no culling so in the main game if a block is not visited in a while everything gets completely wiped that is not the thing here we gotta like get this going eat some berries as well getting kind of hungry probably want to get some maybe some sandwiches there are sandwiches in the game gotta keep that in mind also there is no player combat so you cannot kill people people cannot kill you I love that change. I think that it makes for a very cool experience. They're all vigorous, right? I don't want any of them to get dry. That would be really bad. We have a lot of bushes here. There's actually a lot of bushes. Again, this server does not get wiped as the main servers do. So this is quite a big village. And there's actually several villages. We have some wheat over here. I'm gonna go do mostly exploring. I probably won't be very productive. I'm really sorry. I'll probably just be eating a lot of food, not making any food in return. But I think that's gonna be perfectly fine. A lot of worm. Oh, these are carrot seeds. Interesting. Do we have a carrot farm anywhere? That'd be kind of interesting to see. Worms respawn after five minutes, so that's also a big change. Uh, there are different uh, materials. For example, this is a tent. It doesn't look that good, to be honest. I feel like it's missing a little bit of detail. It looks kind of like a blank slate, but you can't actually make a tent. The only problem right now, I think, with the tent texture is that um, the corners are of... Uh, Walls actually still have wooden wooden sticks, so it looks a little bit off, I feel. That's not ideal. What else do we have? Let's actually go walk around a bit. Oh, we have this, by the way. I think that's going to be great for us. It's going to be a nice little backpack. Let's eat some berries over here that we don't have to water. There we go. Again, we'll, we'll take care of this entire farm later on. It's not that big of a deal. Because there's not that many people playing. I'm like, I think that lady just died over here. I think I might be the only person on the server right now. So... It's not a big of a deal, it won't actually cause any damage. Oh, they have some bell towers over here. Can I unstuck them? Is there a way to get them unstuck right now? I guess not yet, alright. Interesting. Over here we have some shrines. It's a cursed shrine, oh no. So this is a multi-generational quest. If you join the Discord, there is actually a guide on how this is supposed to be done. This actually is locked by a lock. 
So there, there are keys in the main game now as well. I think it's by lock by lock. But this game implemented keys before they were added to the main game. So if we actually had the key, we could open this door. I don't think there's a way to open it without the key right now. We could destroy the wall, but I don't want to do that. It would be just kind of mean. There's a cursed shrine over here as well. I don't know what this is for. This is a nice little cairn. There is, so there is a multi-generation quest. I think the first step is placing some wild carrots. That might also be normal carrots. So we're gonna go give that a go. What we have over here. A lot of baskets with various things. Oh, there's a big farm over there. Okay, do we have any carrots over here, perhaps? That's a large forest. Okay, I'm guessing we can replant trees over here. That's kind of nice. I gotta, like, run back home. Back to the berry farm. I gotta find some food. Because I don't see any other food than the berries. Oh, no, don't go there. Please don't go there. Okay, there's some carrots there. That's actually good to know. Where are the berries, please? Please, berries. There we go. Just eat a bunch of berries and store a bunch of them in our inventory. I gotta go just water all of these bushes that we can water. And we'll continue exploring when we have some food. Oh god, these lambs are all dying. I didn't realize they would actually die here. Uh, I guess no one fed them in a while, huh? Oh god, they're all so hungry! Okay, how do I, how do I feed the lamb? Bowl of gooseberries and carrots. That's kind of complicated. Oh, they're all just falling and dying. It's so terrifying. Domestic sheep. A lot of sheep here. A lot of dead lambs as well. Something we can do with these bad boys. Um, I don't think the sheep will actually, like, starve to death. I think the only way to kill a sheep is to actually kill it. It won't actually die on its own. And they do actually give lambs from now, every now and then. So I think we just ignore this for now. I have other things to do. I want to, like, show this to you guys. And yeah, I'm going to be playing more on this server, for sure. And I think the biggest, like, let's say, issue right now is that there's not that many people playing at all times. There's always someone, but you're never going to find a situation where you have, like, a big city with a bunch of people, which is kind of a shame because, again, things never decay here. So this server has the potential to have the biggest empire the One Hour, One Life world has ever seen. And I do know it for a fact this map has multiple cities. Yeah, we're actually taking a look at that. A lot of nice milkwood here. This is like such a lovely farm. Look at this. Like, look at this. It's so nice. Like, so, there's so much milkweed around here. It's kind of just lovely. I love it. What we could do is we could try expanding this farm, make it, making it bigger again, because it does seem to be missing some things. Some uh, milkweed obviously expires. I guess someone picked them at the wrong time. Oh, all right. This is the clothing shop. So, yeah, there is actually clothing. There is silk. This is a silk farm over there. What are these white silk rolls? A hand loom. This is a silk rope. Can I wear that instead? I can't as well wear the, wool, the sheepskin. I think it's kind of cooler to have that than having some silk rope. But if you find like a full set of, of, uh, of silk, we'll wear it. No problem. I'm not against that. Yeah, this wall can be easily opened. And by this wall, I mean, of course, this door can be easily opened. A nice little tiny farm over there. I don't know what's up with that. And I bet, I, I don't want to mess with things too much here, because I bet people have some awesome plans for this, and I don't actually want to make any mistakes here. But what I can do is just basically do this. There we go. Get some things going. Can I get okay, some berries from our backpack? There we go. We need to get some better food, because berries, they're not gonna, they're gonna do it for us. We need to find a sandwich, if possible. There are sandwiches in the game, but they do take quite a long time to... Get crafted, or we could just get some pies, maybe. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's a bunch of clothing here. What am I missing? I'm missing a skirt, right? We've got a skirt, and we have... Do we have any shoes nearby? There's a bunny here. I do actually want to make a pair of shoes, if at all possible. Yeah, let, let's do that. Let's, let's get some shoes going. We do have a lot of clothing, right? There's probably some shoes somewhere, because, again, they don't decay. There's some turd over here that's gonna be perfect. Just gonna combine these, make some shoes, because I want to have a full set of clothing so I can uh, last without food for a bit longer. Here we go, have that, and let's get one of these as well. Not gonna do anything else. We're gonna leave it as is for now. There we go, that's a nice set of clothing. And let's go get the... Uh, what was that? It was a uh, a silk something, right? A silk robe, maybe. Let's go wear that now. Yeah, silk farm. I, I don't want to mess with silk because I could make some big big mistakes there. Hey, right, that looked kind of nifty. I like it. Fairly cool. All right, how does this actually work? What happens if we click on the silk farm? Is this like done? Cocoon shaft plus long straight shaft is silk farm. Shears to get silk cocoon. So if we have some shears somewhere, we can just put this over here on the floor and we combine this one. We're gonna get a silk farm, right? 
All right, I see like that. So the silk will spread from shaft to shaft. I'm out of food. That's actually bad. Okay, I'm out of food. There's berries here. There's wild berries. Awesome. Let's eat some of those bad boys. They're gonna, they're gonna grow back in time. Don't worry about it. Look at all these berries in our backpack. It's kind of like hard to hit. I don't know why. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm still have some things in my backpack. That's okay. So that's how we make silk. It seems easy enough. It's just infinitely expanding. That's kind of nice. And then we could probably... Oh my god. That's a massive... Oh my lord. This thing is massive. It's huge. I had no idea. Kind of spooky. All right, let's let's try messing with that a bit. So no one's gonna mind. I hope. I'm gonna just borrow these shears here. With the shaft. Oh, it destroys the shaft completely. That is good to know. Wasn't expecting that. So now we have this bad boy. We need a hand loom, which is this, to get us some silk roll. Okay, then we can just stack these, right? Yeah. All right. And we can combine these to make tent walls and whatnot, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. To make the scarf. We need to combine this with a needle and thread. We have an extra needle here. Where was that big silk milkweed farm? It was like north or south of here, I think. It was maybe like south of the silk farm. Maybe probably west, actually. Let's go over there. Let's make a nice little scarf. We're gonna look badass. We don't need a wool hat. It's too warm for the wool hat. There we go. It was over here. Let's go pick some milkweed that no one is actually gonna care about. What did we get? Oh, that looks badass. I love it. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's a little bit too big, I feel. I think this part could be a little bit smaller. But that's still nice. Also, everyone spawns in the same location, so you will never, like, spawn in the middle of nowhere. You will spawn in this town whenever you play. So just, just make sure to keep a good eye on it and don't destroy things. Oh, there's some things here. Nomad skirt, I do, do want that. Okay, I don't need this. It's on the floor. Someone died here at one point. Hit the skirt. Yeah, we are a proper nomad now. Kind of badass. A lot of clothing here as well. Again, there's so many things. I don't want to just... Ours all the milkweed. I want to do a little bit more exploring. Let's go mess with cheese. So we did take out a cheese wheel at one point. Let's go see what's up with that. So what can we do with cheese? Knife? We can use a knife. Do we have a knife anywhere is the question. I have not seen a knife so far. So we do need a knife to use that. Again, knives cannot be used to kill people. So there is no da They are not inherently dangerous is the thing. Knives are actually just plain useful to keep in mind can we use the okay this is used for the milk bucket all right so we need to get a milk bucket let's let's find a normal bucket let's try getting some milk let's let's try being used let's try make some cheese so we need a uh, can we get milk from the camel how do we get a can how do we get some milk let's see there's no cow so how do we get milk actually full bucket full bucket it's all full bucket can i get milk plus dromedary all right so, this camel should give us milk. But I think we need to feed it first, right? So yeah, let's actually feed it some mashed berries and carrot. We have... Oh, there's enough over here. It's an escaped horse. Yeah, let's just use a knife to cut the cheese. I wonder if you can eat the cheese itself. Just cut little bits and pieces. There we go, can we eat that? Oh, we totally can't eat the cheese. That's actually kind of nifty. So what we can do is we can make sandwiches with this. Let's actually try like cutting one more piece. There we go. That's delicious. So cheese wedge plus okay, cheese wedge plus baked flatbread stack is a cheese sandwich. I kind of am tempted to make a cheese sandwich. You know what I mean? So we have some berries over here. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave the knife over here next to the cheese. I think that's a good location for it. Let's get some mashed berries and carrots, shall we? That should be fairly easy. We have some carrots over here. And we just need a sharp stone, right? That's the only thing we can use right now. Yeah. Actually, we don't need to... Do we need to mash it? I don't know. Maybe we don't need to mash it at all. Maybe we can just give it to the camel, right? Hey, camel. Camel? They, they need to be mashed. All right. Let's find a sharp stone we can use to mash this bad boy. There we go. That has been mashed. We're gonna feed this to the camel. And we can get some cheese. So this is going to be our quest for the sandwich, I feel. It's going to be kind of a nice goal. Okay, camels should be really happy right now. You had your fill. And now the camels should have milk, right? That's how this game works usually. So let's go to the camel. Do you have any milk for me? Yeah! That's what I like to see. All right. Getting kind of hungry yet again. Got to make sure to eat healthy. 
go eat that as well. Uh, we do want to water this stuff, but first of all, let's go take the bucket. Not that's not the bucket twisted. Take this bad boy. We just put this in here. <laughs> the cream, there we go. And now we just have to wait, right? Bowl of rennet plus milky creamery. How do you get a bowl of rennet? And what is a rennet? I have no idea what rennet is. So let's actually figure it out. Oh, I just found a bunch of pies here. That's actually kind of nice. Is that a sandwich? That's a sandwich. It's a cheese mutton sandwich. So I'm not going to take those. Let's take a while to make. Let's actually just take a cooked berry carrot rabbit pie. I'm going to keep it with us. We're going to eat it as time goes on. As we do want to have some food from that. But uh, it's not the most important thing. Cooked berry character replies plus mount equals clay plate eventually. Interesting. I never saw the notification before. All right. Let's. So we want to get a. If you want to combine this, we need to combine a bowl of remnant. How do we actually get that? Because I have no clue. Let's look at the recipes here. Let's try finding the thing we need. All right. Clay bowl plus dead sheep equals bowl of remnant. So there was a dead sheep here, right? Like, that sheep has already been used. Alright, I think I get it now. Not a dead lamb, right? Need to get a... Yeah, that's un, that's not ideal. Alright, we're gonna slaughter a sheep is the plan. Let's find a lamb. Also, like, probably when I clean this up. We need a better way of managing lambs. These are just getting crazy. There's way too many things going on. And we are actually gonna... completely run out at one point. Alright, so... Domestic sheep plus carrot throw. Knife is dead sheep. Shears. Okay. Get one of these bad boys again. So where is that? Do we have a hungry sheep? Shorn domestic sheep. It's gonna be fed. Alright, how do we feed the lambs though? We need to just rope. Bowl of goosebellies and carrot. Okay, so we don't, we don't need to mash them. So let's feed one of the lambs. And I'm gonna go shear a sheep. I'm gonna go kill the sheep that we sheared. Because we, uh, we do want to get rennet. Because we do want to invest in more cheese. And also we definitely do want to water this ASAP. I'm gonna take it from the top well because I've been using the bottom well so much recently and I wanted to run out. We might as well make another well. Just to leave a uh, maybe something a little bit useful behind. Like this seemed like a good location for one more well. Again, more wells is always good. Because there there's a, le a lesser chance of it running out if you have multiple wells. Let's actually take this. Of course, I, I forgot to water this one. Right. Let's actually do that immediately. Let's get the bucket. That's not the bucket twisted. Get the bucket. And let's just go water the ones I missed before. No! I'm so sorry, guys. I... Ah, I'm so... I feel so bad right now. It's not that big of a deal. We'll just plant... Okay, now we, our task is to plant another. Plant another bush. Because I made a mistake. I, I destroyed that bush myself. It was, a, it was an honest mistake, but, but I'll fix my mistake. It's not a big deal. We'll, we'll get it going again, right? You're gonna need some soil, which won't be that difficult to achieve. Uh, let's eat a bit more pies. There we go. That's a very, very nice pie for us. All right. So want to feed the lamb. Want the lamb to grow old and strong and and mighty and whatnot. I don't know if we have to feed them multiple times. We'll see that soon enough. There's so many dead lambs. There's a. There we go. You have been fed now. Put this outside here. Here we go. What is going on? Where is the fed lamb? This is a hungry lamb. That one is fed. These are gonna like grow up over time, right? I mean, they're all other others are dying. I think a big problem right now is that we have so many bodies. I'm gonna clean that up, huh? They're all hungry lambs. I, I guess I should probably feed more, even more of them. Let's go feed some. Oh, I think he just grew up. Yeah, that's actually nice. Let's feed. Let's feed one more lamb so we get even more sheep. All right, where is a hungry lamb? For example, this bad boy. He has been fed, so he's gonna grow up in a, in a, into a strong, strong sheep. Let's go shear one of these sheep. For example, you. There we go. Oh, you're naked. Oh, no. It's okay. Get this bad boy. There we go. Just put it out here for a, for a bit. And let's get the knife. Let's go. Let's go eat something, because I'm getting super hungry already. Don't want to die out. Man, all right. Doing stuff is exhausting. I think the problem is the clothing we're wearing right now isn't very good. We can actually just test that easily. So do we have any other clothing here that we could use? For example, the, the, the hat. So it's like over here. If we take this instead. It's exactly the same, huh? Right, what about the pants? 
Okay, it's better. So definitely, okay, this is definitely not the optimal clothing. Because I guess in this clothing is very good. If you live in a desert. But over here, it's maybe a little bit too cold to be wearing silk. So that's actually good to know. I'm gonna just go find some better sort of clothing. Because my food may... My temperature is just way too low, I feel. Oh my, that makes a massive difference. That's actually kind of nice. So there, yeah, uh, this is good clothing, but it's not good if it's cold. And it is cold, so we definitely don't want to eat that. Alright, let's go finish what we were doing. So we do want to slaughter the sheep. We did shear it. We did shear sheep. And now it's time for the sheep to die. Be fairly, fairly easy. Where is my knife? Where did I leave the knife? Oh no, where I did I lose a knife. There was a knife right here that I put in my back, perhaps. I don't see any knives. Oh no. Oh no, it's over here. Over there. My bad, sorry. Let's just get these in a basket so it's like nice and simple. Yarn! Very nice. Okay, don't kill the camel by accident. No, no, no. Okay, don't click on anything. Wanna kill the sheep, the shorn sheep. There we go. Don't kill things by accident. Get this in here. And I get a bowl. This is on the dead sheep, right? Is that not how it works? Did I make a huge mistake here? Did I misunderstand something? Bowl of rennet. Where was that? Clay bowl plus dead sheep. I think I'm missing something, guys. So my only other guess is that maybe it needs to be a sheep that still has its yarn. Uh, let's give that a go as well. I did feed two lambs, right? So I, I have right to kill two sheep. Uh, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna actually butcher these guys as well, so because we wanna move them out of the way. Let's find the sheep, like like for example this dude. Can we get the rennet now? There we go. Alright, so that's how it works. Is it infinite? Is it an infinite resource from a skin sheep? From a non skin sheep? It does appear that we do get a lot of it, so... I kinda wanna have a bunch of these over here. But wait for this, I, th I think we just have to wait two hours for that to finish. So it's gonna take a while. But we'll, we'll get a cheese over time. So, it's a little bit crowded in here, a lot of dead bodies. Can I just get the... The meat from here? Just do this. Can I get more meat, right? There we go. Because I want to actually clean this, this area up a bit. So can we get the mutton into a basket? Is that a thing we can do right now? Can we just do it like this? I guess we have to like do it bit by bit. No, sheep, can you... Oh my god, they're all in my way. Can you get out of my way, please? Okay, so apparently we cannot actually put mutton into a basket. Which I did not actually know. That's a little bit unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world. We're gonna just get the mutton out here. Again, I maybe caused a little bit of a mess. But I think the biggest problem is that these sheep keep getting babies. There's nothing we can actually do with them. Alright, let's get the bones out of the way as well. These are some sheep, creep, creepy sheep bones. Let's just get them out of the way. Let's go get them far, far away. I'm not gonna bother anyone. There we go. Alright, that's fine. So we did that. What's our next step? Well, let's make a sandwich ourselves, right? That should not be that difficult. We do have some cheese wedges here we can use. And we do have some food in our inventory as well. So we want to make a sandwich. We need flatbread for that, right? How do we make flatbread? Well, obviously, we require this. Wheat. There we go. This is exactly what we need, actually. So we have a flat rock. And put that over here. We're gonna put the dough on the flat rock. Now we have some dough on flat rock. That is a new item that does not exist actually in the game. We actually can use... Let's just sell the rocks. How many can we think I get? I think we can get three of them probably, right? There we go. Easy enough. Is there even more stuff in here? There's even more. So we can get four. I guess that's why there's four rocks over here. Someone did this already. And now let's get a round stone. That should not be that difficult to find. There's always stones everywhere. There we go. For example, this bad boy. I'm gonna go down here. We're gonna just roll the stone to dough. Make it into a flatbread. There we go. It's easy as pie. Well, like easy as flatbread. Now, raw flatbread can be combined with an oven. Obviously, we can put it on the floor. We can put it on the floor. That's actually good to know. Combine it with an oven to actually make a... Uh, some flatbread. And if you use a bunch of flatbread with some cheese, we get a cheese sandwich. It's easy like that. Let's get some kindling over here. Make sure all the berry bushes are watered as much as we can water them. <laughs> Into start a fire. I don't know if there's a new way to start a fire. I think there's still only one way to get the fire going. So we're gonna have to go searching for uh, trees, if you will. Okay, so we have both the tinder and the maple leaves. So we're gonna go run back where we were a minute ago. Yeah, and if I can, if I can find it. I never actually set my home marker. 
which is probably a mistake because I could easily get lost in this big massive world. There we go. Actually, I'm a genius. Get this over here, get this over here. Do we have a fireball drill anywhere? No, huh? Well, that's a problem, actually. I think these won't disappear if they're in my inventory. Or I could be completely wrong. So we need a fireball drill. We have everything else we need except for the fireball drill, which is... I don't want to craft a new one. I bet there's a, a made one somewhere already. So I don't want to eat these immediately. I'll go water them later. Okay, we have materials for fireball drills, but not the proper fireball drill. I guess I could just make one. But I'd rather not, you know. I'd rather just use an existing one. I mean, you know what? It's actually quite easy to make. Oh, never mind. There's a fire there's, there's fireball drill. I was gonna say I'm gonna make one because, again, they're really easy to make. And we have a ton of materials. And they're always useful, more or less. But I guess that won't be necessary today. Alright, so we need some more killing as well. There's gonna be some nearby, right? Make sure we have some killing ready for action. There we go. And you know the drill. The fireball drill. It's actually quite easy to make fire once you know how it's done. So first things first, let's actually place this like over here. Let's get... Oh, they, they do disappear. All right, so let's go get some uh, tinder and some maple leaves again. There we go. We have all the things we need. So this should be, again, very, very easy. Get this going over here. Get the tinder if we can get it from the backpack. There we go. Merge these two. Get an ember leaf. You know, it's 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 fire. It's nothing special. You know how it's done. There we go. There's a fire going. Now we can combine this bad boy with this bad boy. There's a proper fire there as well. All right, we can make this into a longer fire, but we have no reason for that. So I'm gonna. Even think about it, honestly. Just get these flatbreads ready to rumble. I should probably have taken a basket with me. There we go. So get these things going. Let's cook them all so hard. It's going to be so good. There we go. Last one. All right. How do we make a sandwich? Flatbread, flatbread is a baked flatbread stack. So we get two of them together. There we go. So that's two stacks. Now we're gonna go over. It's actually quite nice, quite simple. I actually could quite love the sandwiches. Get this over here. We had a knife somewhere, right? It's over here still. Or did I not put it in a basket? Not put it in a basket. My mistake. I'm gonna cut the cheese wedge. If at all possible. We make another cheese as well. In my inventory. Like that. There we go. I'll get the knife in order. Don't worry about it. Go over here. Where did I put my flatbread stacks? Sandwich. And sandwich. Yes! Oh, I get I get mutton there as well. So that's actually perfect. The berry while we wait so we don't starve. So let's get two muttons. Because we did get a bunch of them. To make some delicious sandwiches. And they're gonna last for a long while. Uh, I can't put them in my backpack, huh? Kind of unfortunate. So let's get, get these over here. It's gonna be a cheesy mutton sandwich. Of course, it needs to be a cooked mutton. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dummy. Um, can we get this over here to start the fire again? No, we cannot. We need to get some kindling, please. I'm gonna get another... Oh, there we go. Let's get that. Don't want to get more fire stuff. Oh, there we go. Perfect stuff. Need even more kindling. But thankfully, there should be a lot somewhere because I did mess up a bush. There we go. I guess messing up a berry bush is a very frequent thing. But it's okay. Again, it's easy to get wood. Not a big deal at all. This over here. Let's get one more mutton. Because we do want to cook them. I should probably cook all the mutton. Oh god. Oh no, I'm just gonna starve. I'm gonna starve quickly. I made a huge mistake here. Get a berry. I need to water this. Remember that, Twisted. Need to water that soon. Please make it in time. Please don't let the coals cool before I get there. It should be totally doable, right? Oh, perfect timing, actually. Awesome. There we go. Put this in the sandwich. There we go. Do you have anything in my backpack? No, it's empty. So if we eat the sandwich, I guess it's gonna like fill us up completely now. Yeah, so it's probably a waste of time to eat the sandwiches uh, while you're not super starving. But we do have sandwiches now. Can we carry two of them? We can. That's actually awesome. So now we have two sandwiches in our backpack. That should last us for a long time. And don't forget, we did pick a berry bush over here somewhere. Which one was it again? It was... Somewhere at the edge, right? There we go, it's that one. Alright, I got... These are all looking fine. 
So I could probably get some more bushes going. I think we have more than enough right now. Someone's gonna take care of it. Maybe I'll even take care of it once I'm done recording. So we have cheese going for it. We did use another cheese. We have one more of one more empty creamery. So again, we have a bowl of rennet still over here. And if we get this bowl. No, what I'm gonna do now, of course. Of course you do. Get this bowl. Get this over here. Of course, we do wanna water the bush we just harvested. There we go. Leave that over there. That's actually quite nifty to have that in there. In the middle. Uh, didn't want to take that, actually. That was the wrong item. I wanted to take the bowl, right? The bowl of gooseberries. We do have a carrot. By the way, there's a massive, like, carrot storage nearby, so I'm not actually wasting all the carrots here. Uh, speaking of that, I think we're gonna... Never mind, there's a carrot thing over here. I'm gonna put these in here, because it's like, kind of crowded over here. I don't like that very much. Can we have one, one more? Yes, awesome. Where was it? There we go. Let's go feed our camel, friend. He's probably hungry by now. Of course, need to mash these. Right, right, right. So the camels won't eat a non-mashed berries and carrots. I have no idea how these guys survive in the wild because I have no thumbs. Mm. Gonna be okay. Okay, it's it's a very big pen. Just feed the camel. Thank you. There we go. And I should have some milk just waiting for me. Gotta get a bucket, which I did leave down here in the path. Right. Maybe not. This is maybe is the bucket that's in the middle. You can get that one, no problem. But there were more buckets before, right? I remember having two buckets, one next to each other. But maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. It's it happens very frequently that I misremember things. Okay, so we have some milk, some delicious camel milk. Get this over here and get this bowl as well. It's gonna be cultured. Now we just have to wait like a long, long time, right? Yeah, we wait. I think it's two hours and it's gonna be turned into proper, proper cheese. You can, you can be used to make sandwiches. Sandwiches are a great source of food. So if you're playing on the server, make sure to make some sandwiches. All right, now that we like did everything, we did, did so many things that are new in the update. Let's actually explore a bit because there are several roads that lead out of town here. Because I think there's multiple settlements. I'm gonna go check these out. So there's what is this? <gasps> Where did we? What did we stumble upon? Oh my! All right, another village. It's a, a snow village. Okay. It's mostly dead. There's no one here. A lot of clothing here as well. A lot of dead bodies. Some cheese as well. A lot of tilled rows. These are all dry. I would water them, but then they would just all turn into... Uh... Can I get the other one, please? Get the other sandwich, because it's already half eaten. I could water them, but they would all turn into seed, because I would leave. And I don't want that to happen. So I will not water these guys, even though I could. I could totally do it. I think I would just uh, destroy the soil. I think I would cause more harm than good. What is this? It's a shrine. It's a blessed shrine. Oh my. And so there's a mo uh, uh, there's several things you can do with shrines. It's a, it's a long process. It takes a while. So this is a very cold village. It's all in the snow here. I don't know how these bushes are surviving, but I'm not gonna complain. Have we here another pen? This is actually a lovely pen design. Someone killed all the sheep. No, why would you do that? Why are all the sheep dead? And also, like, the... The floor stakes are there as well, as for the path, I guess. I, I'm kind of tempted to bring back some sheep. From the other area. But I'm afraid that maybe someone did this intentionally, because they wanted to remove the pen and shape it with elsewhere, and that would just cause them problems. So I will not do that. Again, uh, we do have sheep nearby, so it should be easily easy to just bring them over. That won't be a big issue at all. Alright, so we are... It's a big wall. Can we get across here? We can. It's gonna take a long time for us to walk around. I have to go all the way. Man, I've never seen such a long path in this game. Yeah, it actually didn't even load this thing in. Because uh, I'm technically still in the other area of the map. That's actually cool. That's a nice little cold village. We have another path over here, right? Let's see what's in this area. There's gotta be more stuff going on here, right? There's a sheep in the middle of nowhere. Maybe a desert village that would be kind of nifty to see. It's a long, long path. I wonder where it leads. This is a seriously long road. Like, it's probably the... It's definitely the longest road I've ever seen in my one hour, one life. Life, I guess. Yeah, it's like, it just keeps on going. Oh my god. Right, it ends here, huh? 
So it's a road that leads to nowhere. Does it actually lead anywhere? Oh, there is something here. All right. It's a large silk farm. But it's just that, huh? Because I see no civilization nearby. Oh, no, never mind. There's some things over here. Oh, there we go. Okay, we found it. It's a... Uh, a secret village. It's a lost empire. Some wells over here. Oh, that's a very nice building here. I'm getting old now, by the way. A lot of clothing. Monument in the making. Even more roads. Man, does this lead anywhere? Probably just a dead end, huh? Yeah, I don't see anything. But I gotta go risk it because there might be wolves nearby. And they could easily kill me, so I don't really want to mess with those bad boys. So we have over here. That's mostly it, I think. I think that's a. Uh, I think we saw most things so far. That's actually quite nice. Yeah, this is two hours, one life. If you want to check it out, you can. It's very easy. Just download a single file and run the game. Well, download a single folder and run the game from there. You don't need to do any special interactions. You don't need to actually own the game. You can just play it. It's completely legal because the game is fully open source. The game is actually free. If you don't know this, One Hour One Life is a free game. Uh, you only pay for server access. This server is free. The official servers are not. So if you want to play, just uh, go download the game. Like right now in the link. You can play it. You live for two hours. It's quite fun. I like it a lot. Needs more players, but there are. I am playing in, in off time. So there's usually more players playing, but I am playing really, really early in the morning. There's probably, like, no one around. But yeah, I'm gonna actually just uh, end this video here. Thank you all very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Honey Games, and I will see you next time.